I thought I'd upload this just to help people when they're doing their lens calibration on Lightburn or the, uh, uh, what's it called? Creality Design Studio. Uh, so, I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube where people are getting this wrong or not helping themselves. And to be honest, even though this machine is great, it's not helping with this pattern on the uh, bottom. So the first thing you want to do is get rid of anything that's inside it. Just make this whole area as clean as possible. I know this isn't a good example, but just get rid of all the rubbish in the bottom. The next thing you want to do is your pattern, put it on a board or a bit of wood. You've got a laser engraver, so why not cut something that fits it perfectly? You just want it as flat as possible. Don't want any curled edges, nothing like that. Just as flat as possible. The next thing you want to do is cover up this pattern with white. Just get rid of that pattern because it's really not helping. In programs like Lightburn, where it gives you a rating for your input photo, this massively helps. So just cover up anything that you need to. And this, put it in the home position. So when you're doing this, the idea is you've got an edge around this and you want to put it right in the corner, right in the corner. So this pattern is basically in your print area, which is roughly that. So just do it as normal, pay attention to what the camera is telling you, if there's a shadow or something in the way, take your time, move it out of the way. That's not going to affect the camera, but that shadow might. So do what it says, do all the calibrations in every position, and you're pretty much set. You're going to get, at least in light burn, under 0.3 three rating every time if you do this and the only other issue I've come across in videos is people's rating sometimes I don't know if they just took the photo once more it would probably be fine because when you close this lid this camera has to um, focus and I've seen people go don't press them, and they get a reasonable rating but if they waited two seconds pressed it again they'd get a perfect rating so take your time with it and new people also think that doing this is what affects uh, the height of the material you're putting in as well it doesn't do this on the bed get the bed as straight as possible in the out output image that's in Lightburn or Falcon Design Studio and then when you do the next bit, which engraves the uh, circles, then you can put your materials in. Then you can put your honeycomb in. Then you can put whatever you're cutting in. And you don't need to cut on wood. Get it to the height you're going to uh, engrave or cut out. And then put some paper in. And then engrave on the paper. Don't waste your material. Okay, hope that helps.